I think anybody who knows me knows that I've always had this like significant sense of personal style. You know, painting's just like anything else. When you have the right tools, it's that much more enjoyable. So today I'm gonna to be stretching this giant canvas. I really like to feel like myself and to express myself within my clothing. And when we designed the Charlie line, I was really so happy because the athleisure was such a popular thing nowadays. And I mean, leggings are so comfortable. <laughs> a blank canvas. In some ways, there's nothing more intimidating, and in other ways, there's nothing more exciting. Life always seems to have a way of getting in the way. I'd rather be working right now and making something happen, but unfortunately, they're calling for snow. And it's kind of interesting because Jennifer, I'm watching her focus on a personal project called The Kindness Project in which she photographs children and she asks them questions about kindness and what it means nice. to them. Where's those giggly smiles and those teeth? Let me see your teeth. Did you lose them or you ate them for breakfast? Yeah. Oh, you didn't? I see them. Oh, that's so perfect. That is absolutely perfect. During the last snowstorm, my snowblower. You told me to get some beauty shots of you. When are you gonna be beautiful? <laughs> It's real nice of you to say, I thought I was beautiful. I picked up oil paint and a few of these. So a lot of people will ask me, you know, what do you paint with? Because they, they see me painting with these sticks. And you see them start to think about the question and their minds start reeling and they're not sure what to say. And the reason is because they're suddenly overwhelmed with all the possibilities of what it can be to be kind to someone. You know, the, the tired black leggings and just looking so unkept is not quite my idea, nor can I really use that idea unless I'm really just going to the gym or relaxing around the house. All right, Miss Purdy. This is the best this canvas is ever gonna look, right here. Don't tell me that. When we created this line and we created these leggings, um, I put them on and it was like magic. I mean, gone is the athleisure and in is the glam leisure. A successful mission, got my snowblower part. What I'm doing photos of, of all kids and it's about being nice to people. So it's called The Kindness Project. I think sometimes endless possibilities can cause us some anxiety in life. But you know, sometimes figuring out what your painting is going to be or what your life is going to turn out like means that you have to start moving forward and start the process moving in the direction of your dreams. I'm really excited because it being the winter months and it being cold where we are, we just booked a few trips. I'm gonna ruin it from here forward. I certainly hope not. Huh? Yeah, it's a lot of money to spend on ruining something. Money, it's called time. We're gonna be going down to Fort Lauderdale for a photography summit in which we'll get to check out the latest technology. And I'm so psyched to be able to put the Lumix GH5 in my hands and do some work with it because I tell you, that camera looks revolutionary. The best work often comes to us while we're creating it. Is there anything else you can think of that might brighten somebody's day? Maybe give them money? Give them money if they need help or they need maybe something to, to have a, a place to stay, right? Sometimes you just have to move the paint around. And that holds true to all of these genres. You know, if you're writing a song, you might write a part, but you may switch the verse and the chorus and move things around. Same thing with filmmaking. 
Uh, we create a lot of films and I find myself re-editing over and over and moving clips around because the story becomes more interesting when I do. With painting, sometimes uh, I just move the paint around and I see something that's familiar or I capture a feeling. Now I come to find out that's being questioned by some. I don't know if you had any fancy poses or something. I am posing. As a painter? Yeah, I'm posing as a painter. I'm a poser. <laughs> exactly what it is. These are Shiva Artist Paint Sticks. And a friend of mine turned me on to these. I love this particular one because some of the colors are iridescent. Yeah, a lot of time spent too. Time. Yeah. 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 Now you're going to do something amazing. That's all you have time for. The work that goes into just preparing a big canvas is <laughs> pretty intense. Say something genius. Something genius? Yeah. Oh, I get paint on the floor. And so the colors just pop off the canvas. And then being iridescent, they have like this metallic flake to them. When creative lighting or colored lighting hits them, it shifts depending on the time of day. And so the iridescent paints really give some really cool characteristics that are both colorful and unique in the way that light shapes the painting. And we're just like, pretty, pretty smile. Awesome, Bella. That's not good. How's that for genius? It'll be a 70 by 84 inch canvas and so we have the tools of the trade which is the canvas itself on a roll we have our wooden stretcher bars you know if you've ever gone to a museum or an art exhibit you may have walked out of certain uh, areas of the museum and said to yourself I don't get it I don't understand art Beautiful. and now I want you to tell me a joke I, I don't have time to do anything that's not amazing that's right Good point. We have a rubber mallet, which is gonna be used for getting the uh, stretcher bars together and straight. We wanted to create something that was comfortable, but what, you know, I assume to be useful as far as being a working woman and uh, a modern woman and somebody who wants to look and present themselves well. Right after that, we fly out to Beverly Hills. Uh, we're gonna be photographing a celebrity wedding. Sometimes, the artist isn't trying to show you a painting of a thing. They're trying to share an experience or a feeling with you. I am running out of time. <laughs> Your train's coming. Right, my train's coming. <laughs> so it'll be nice to see some warmer climates uh, over the winter months here. What do you give an elephant with diarrhea? What do you get an elephant with diarrhea? I don't know. What do you get an elephant with diarrhea? Plenty of room. Plenty of room? <laughs> you are very funny. You are very, very right. You're a smart girl. High five. Some canvas pliers as well so that we can get a good grip on the canvas edge and stretch it. Train to the upper room. The upper room. And lastly, um, if you have an air compressor, it's that much nicer than trying to do it with just staples. Uh, so I have a staple gun that's run from an air compressor and it just lets me do it so much faster. So that's how we're going to pull it all together. So don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed by the blank canvas in life or in art. Don't allow it to give you anxiety. If you're feeling that way, just start moving forward and the answers will fall into place naturally, organically, and you'll create the masterpiece that you're dreaming of.